Hello YouTube, welcome back to the page, welcome back to the channel, Sent Daddy back with another video for you. Today, we have a special treat for you, we have the one and only, Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultraman. And this is another one of those bottles that comes in a can, voila. Has it focused yet? Yes, it kind of did. Um, let's get the glare out of there. It's gonna have a red ultra male logo on the front. You can see the bottle is a uh, black instead of the traditional silver. The uh, back side is gonna show the diagram of the bottle that you can see inside your can. And uh, this one right here, it's an Audit Toilette Intense. This is a 2.5 ounce bottle. This fragrance came out in 2015. And you're not gonna believe who was the nose behind this fragrance. Um, Baccarat Rouge 540, does that sound familiar to you? Yeah, maybe because it was made by the same guy that made this, Mason Francis Kirkvijon. So let's jump right in, let's get right into it. Why I am reviewing this one again, if you are following from last week's video, Jean-Paul Gaultier is one of the most requested fragrances at my store. Um, by these young guys. Literally, every time I turn around and someone is asking for Jean-Paul Gaultier, it is someone who's around the age of 13 up to around 25. Um, I am 26 years old in October uh, coming up, so, you know, I actually personally use this myself. I really do enjoy this fragrance. So, I just took off the packaging. The diagram comes on the plastic not on the can. And uh, on the bottom here, I have my batch code and the QR code and everything. Batch code is 03171. All right. And well, uh, another velvet base from last week, just like Paradise Garden. Another lock on the cap, just like last week's Paradise Garden. Pop open the sprayer, check out the atomizer. Oh. Ooh, really good. Um, I kind of want to spray it on a piece of paper before I spray it on myself. So, here, put this, and oh my god, I smell it in the air, it smells so good. I have my notebook in front of me because I like to take notes to give you the best, best highest quality uh, video fragrance reviews. But here is a piece of paper with a very handsome cut. <laughs> and uh, yeah, here. Right away I smell amber, which is funny because it's a base note and it's the first thing I smell. It's really sweet, that's why the amber pops out right away. It's a little spice to it too, but it's like in the aftertones. <clears throat> what else? What else can I say? It's so sweet. It's just, you smell it and you just want to keep smelling more. Um, why I like this fragrance so much is because I actually use this fragrance when I go out at night. Um, it is a very good nighttime compliment cane. Literally, take this fragrance to a club, you will be breaking necks. And what I mean by breaking necks, people are going to be like, Who's that? Oh, oh, who's that? You know, as you walk by. And if that's who you want to be, then, you know, Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramail, especially for the price, it's not... It's not, it's not that expensive. Like last week's uh, 
Jean-Paul Gaultier Paradise Garden was near $200. This one you can get for around $100. And I really do enjoy it. The fact that it's made by Mason Francis Kirk to John is just like, even if it's a blind buy, go for it. Um, and uh, why I say that is because you know, Mason Francis, he's, he's made quite an impact in the fragrance industry. And you can trust you can trust that what he's selling is going to be mass appealing based on just the amount of masses purchasing his fragrances like and how much he's making a wave in the fragrance scene um another thing about this one you know it is a hundred dollars and uh if you can't cough that up for a blind buy well hey i got another option for you that's why you guys watch me right here I have 9 p.m. by Afnan. Now before we get into this bad boy, I recently just got this at my store. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Keshav Kukreja, and my parents started a perfume and cologne business when I was around the age of 5, and ever since I had consciousness and knowledge on uh, fragrance uh, I want to say around the age of 10 or 11 I started wearing fragrances uh, starting with Adidas Moves so I'm addicted to perfumes and perfumes and colognes and um, we actually just recently got this bad boy at my store and uh, people have been requesting it so yeah that's why we got it and uh, you know what's funny about this one is it shares the same DNA as this one. So I actually took notes on what the top, middle, and base notes are, and the only differences I found between Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramail and 9pm by Afnan is that Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramail, well obviously it was made by Mason Francis Kirk de John, and secondly, um, it actually has mint in the top note, whereas this one does not have mint in the top note. Uh, what else it does have, what both of them do have, is pear, lavender, bergamot, and lemon. Um, now, in the middle note of 9pm you get orange blossom and lily of the valley, whereas in the middle notes of Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male, you actually get cinnamon, clary sage, and caraway. Now that's that spice that I was telling you I was smelling, that's for sure. And, um, oh, you also get, in the base note, vanilla but in the base on here you get vanilla musk you see there's some spices to jean paul and uh 9 p.m you get tonka on uh and patchouli and amber and same with this bad boy so let's go ahead and open this one up after i spray this on my hand So I kind of did it on the bottom as well as on the top. Just let it dry a little, it's smelling a little too alcoholy right off the bat. So uh, don't rub your fragrances by the way. I did not just rub my fragrances, I just was doing a little evil laugh like this. Um, anyways. Ho ho! Yo. I freaking love this. Oh my god. Guys, if you've been following me for any time, just do the do yourself a favor. If you trust me, like just blind by this. It's so good. But obviously, are you gonna buy this one or are you gonna buy this one? You're here to see the review to see this or this, right? So let's get right into it. 9 p.m. Half an hour. Here's your box. Here's the front. You get a striped pattern on the front with a big box logo. On the bottom there, you get the brand name. On the side, you get this really cool graphic. I really enjoy looking at this. It's fun to stare at and play with. Back, you get just some Arabic and uh, 
another sticker here. Both of these stickers, I assume, are for authenticity. But, I mean, I don't think there's anyone faking this one based on the price point. You can find this guy for a really good price. Wow, this bottle is heavy. It's almost about to slip out of my hand. Here's the front. Here's the back. Here's the cap. Everyone's raving about the cap for some reason. I kind of want to see what it's all about. Oh, okay, so the cap definitely locks into place. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I watched like a couple reviews and everyone's talking about how the cap is so heavy and like it could be used as a weapon if you chuck it at someone. They're exaggerating. It's heavy, but it's it's not that heavy. I mean, it is kind of heavy. This is a wooden table. I'll drop it like from one inch. Kind of loud. Um, the bottle itself is also kind of nice and heavy too. Uh, for the price point, the packaging is pretty freaking nice. I think the cap clicks into place. Woo! You know we love a good cap clicking into place out here at said daddy shop. All right, let's strip open a piece of paper and uh, see what this guy smells like. So here's our paper, much handsomer, more handsome, handsomer, whatever, cut. And uh, let's spray this bad boy up. Wow, I got it in my eye. This uh, camera lens, man, it's like so zoomed in. I have to get a new lens. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> this uh, kind of lets me down. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I watched like three reviews before doing mine and um, everyone was saying to buy this one. But I digress. I thought I was going to agree, but I digress. Based on just the performance on the piece of paper, this is not gonna break anyone's neck. Yeah, it smells the same, but it's not gonna break anyone's neck. What are you talking about? I mean, no one else said that neck breaker thing that I said, but this is so much better. This is the same smell. Oh my God, but this is so much stronger. Oh, come on guys. Yo, YouTube, 9 p.m. off none, it's good, it's good. But don't tell people to buy this instead of this. If you trust Scent Daddy, buy Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male Audit Toilet Intense. You can buy this. It's not gonna be a waste of money, but it's not nowhere damn near as good as this. I didn't even spray this on my hand yet. So I have the Jean-Paul Gaultier here. Let's go ahead and put 9 p.m. by Afnan here. So uh, let's get it. We like the click. Don't get me wrong. We definitely like the click. To place with the cat. I'm really scared the bottle is just gonna fall over and make a really loud bang. It's, a, it's actually a heavy bottle. I think, you see the bottom here? It's like, oh, actually, no. it's like all glass there at the bottom. Just to make the bottle really freaking heavy. And you can see how much of this is actually liquid versus glass. They're really investing into the packaging to get you to think that the liquid is worth it. I've been doing this since I was five years old. Okay, on skin, it's got some game to it. Definitely, definitely got some game to it on skin. No, I don't care. It doesn't, it has, it doesn't touch this. Jean-Paul Gaultier is the winner, 100%. Thank you. 
Daddy Send Daddy out. Peace. Love you all. Uh, like and subscribe. Comment. Let me know what you want me to do next. People said they want me to do a um, spray off challenge where you apparently spray um, like 14 different fragrances and see which one like one verse one and then see which one wins and then one verse one see which one wins and so on and so forth to see which one's the strongest one so go comment 14 fragrances the first 14 fragrances i will use those in the spray off we can do men's 14 and we can do women's 14 or better yet yeah all right like and subscribe sent daddy out